11 ways to make the narcissist suffer forever. When you are around a narcissist, it causes you to lose confidence and hope. It causes you to feel distress and annoyance. You know that how they are treating you is not right. And now you want to give them a taste of their own medicine. You want them to have the same unpleasant experience that they have given to you. These 11 ways will trigger the narcissist. They will make them suffer forever. One, don't give them attention. Don't take notice of them. Don't regard them as something interesting or important. Don't accept or recognize the truth or existence of their qualities or abilities. Narcissists love admiration and validation. They want to be regarded as impressive or worthy of respect. But they also feed off negative attention. Any attention you give to a narcissist will motivate and encourage them. They often prefer negative attention. If you're still affected by the things they did to you, they can exploit it to deepen the trauma bond. They can exploit it to keep you enmeshed with them. But if you take away your attention, it will make them suffer. They would rather you hated them than for you to not care at all. They cannot survive without attention. They don't know how to feel special or important on their own. They need to be in your head at all times to feel alive. To feel like they exist. Two, when they're told no. Narcissists are expert manipulators. They are used to getting what they want. They've spent their entire lives charming people to meet their needs. They don't care about how their behavior affects you. Which is why if you tell them no, they will get very angry. They don't understand why you would deny them of something. They have no empathy, so they are unable to share your experience. Even if they tried to understand it, they would refuse to accept it. Free, loyalty and commitment. Narcissists demand and expect your loyalty and commitment. They expect you to comply with their demands. And in their minds, loyalty means you have no right to cheat on them. But they never consider their role in the relationship. They never consider that they should be loyal and committed to you. They never consider your needs because they're too preoccupied with their own emotions and desires. If you try to hold them to any form of loyalty or commitment, it will irritate them. It will make them suffer because in their minds, they are the authority. They should be in the superior position. They should be the ones who make the rules while you are supposed to follow them. Four, people. Narcissists hate people in general. 
they don't tend to have many friends and if they do it's usually just people who validate their false self narcissists are always criticizing people they are always complaining about them if you do one thing wrong to a narcissist they will hold it against you forever if you make one mistake they will never see you in the same way ever again narcissists cannot deal with anyone who doesn't fit into their distorted worldview they cannot deal with anyone who is different from them They cannot tolerate the idea that other people are more intelligent than they are. In their minds they are special and unique. They should only be around other people who are special. Other people who have a high rank or social standing. They cannot deal with people who live in reality. People with strong boundaries will be unable to tolerate them. They will realize that the narcissist cannot provide them with love or respect. Five. Facts and statistics. Narcissists hate reality. They hate the truth. They don't want to accept things as they actually are. They would rather reinterpret it so that it suits their agenda. When a narcissist is communicating with you, they will use speech that continues at a tedious length. They will talk for a very long time with a lot of emotion rather than logical reasoning. They have a lot to prove in every conversation. They will take any opportunity they get to display their grandiosity. They will make biased views that are distorted to meet their particular philosophy of life or conception of the world. They believe that their view is always the truth. But when you use facts, they already know that they're at a disadvantage. They hate it when you respond with facts instead of emotion. When you use facts, they see it as an attack and they will retaliate by arguing with you and raising their voice. They will display exaggerated or uncontrollable emotions because they feel out of control. They will try to force you into submission by throwing a temper tantrum. But this should only reveal their immaturity they cannot understand facts. They cannot have an adult conversation. They don't use facts because the facts don't benefit them. They don't support their distorted worldview. Narcissists are always lying and hiding things. So when you use facts, it throws them off their game. Six, authority.
Narcissists hate anyone who has the power or right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience. They don't want to answer to anyone but themselves. They see it as though authority takes away their desire for power and control. Narcissists often get into trouble with authority. They are eager to fight or argue. They are offensively impolite and bad mannered. But if you confront them on their behaviour, they will deny it or try to justify it. When the narcissist has to deal with someone who has authority over them, it causes them to suffer. Because they are forced to comply. They are forced to deal with it. Rather than trying to evade it with denial or justifications. Seven consequences. Narcissists cannot deal with boundaries. They cannot deal with limitations or restrictions. If you try to set a boundary with a narcissist, they will get very angry. Or they will gaslight you and try to put the focus on you as though you've done something wrong. Or they might even apologize and promise a change, but they will never take the steps to make that change. Narcissists cannot deal with consequences because they can't accept when they're wrong. They can't understand how anyone would ever think that they're wrong. But even if they could, they wouldn't care. Which is why they hate boundaries or serious discussions. They will just use it to intimidate you and force you into submission. It gets to a point where most people just give up and let them do whatever they want. Eight, failure. Narcissists cannot deal with failure. They cannot accept that they have lost. If they think that they are going to fail at something, they will do whatever it takes to win. They will cheat, lie or steal, whatever it takes to get ahead. They are sore losers. They cannot accept defeat. Nine, shame. They could not deal with the shame and embarrassment that they experience when they lose or fail. They have weak, fragile egos. They depend on other people to support their false image. So if you don't see them in the way they want to be seen, it makes them suffer. They have to be seen as being superior. They have to be seen as the expert or authority. If they're not, they will get very angry or they will pretend like it doesn't bother them only to later take revenge. They will try to discredit anyone who is a real expert or authority. They cannot deal with shame. They will do whatever it takes to disown it and to project it onto someone else. 10. Vulnerability Narcissists cannot deal with vulnerability. They cannot be vulnerable with you. They have no empathy. They cannot share your experience. They cannot put themselves in your shoes. They can access your vulnerabilities, but this is only on a cognitive level. They hate vulnerability. They hate having to express their emotions. They see kindness and compassion as a weakness. They see it as something to be exploited. 11. 
free thinking. Narcissists hate it when you think for yourself. They hate it when you form your own opinions and beliefs. They want you to see everything their way so that they can go forward with their agenda without any difficulties or opposition. If you think for yourself, the narcissist will become very angry. They will try to make you doubt yourself. They will try to brainwash you into seeing things their way. They're never going to accept that you just have your own thoughts or ideas. They have their own distorted world view. And in their minds, that is the one correct way to live. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.